Chris Damari, Seven Oaks. Last summer, when Councilor Collins answered how to be nominated to become a very powerful charter study commissioner, an opportunity to change Homedale's local township of government of 150 years. He could have simply answered all Homedale residents eligible, required only 100 signatures on a petition by September 1st. He chose to say in accordance with the Faulkner Act, Homedale residents feel left in the dark. If Dr. Blumenthal did not ask this question, how was the township committee even planning on telling the residents? We still have yet to find any public correspondence related to the creation of this charter study commission. Mayor Bontempo and Deputy Mayor Santana are two Homedale leaders. You both had two major responsibilities that have a high degree of conflict. Most importantly, to inform and help educate the Homedale residents on this charter study, putting Homedale residents first, and also apparently responsible for making sure you handpicked commissioners were voted in after seeing your family signed all five commissioners' petitions, the five that ran unopposed. We know exactly why Homedale residents were left in the dark. Here's the campaign from September 21 from Mayor Bontempo campaigning in support of the charter study after the commissioners were locked in. You promised us that they will, one, put Homedale's interest first, ahead of any personal and political agenda. This could not be further from the truth from what we see thus far in this process. The more we learn, this is, there's an incredible amount of political baggage tied to this charter study, and clearly, they're putting all of their agendas first. Homedale residents are not even being considered. Frankly, it's a disgrace. Two, lead an open and transparent process. This one is comical, and I see three of the commissioners here tonight because they continue to hide on a Zoom call, and Chairman Ken G creates one-sided bias narratives promoting change instead of writing about the fierce opposition voiced by many of the residents on their show. Homedale residents are continuing to be misled. And three, give the most, the most opportunity for Homedale residents to direct our local governance. The Homedale residents do not even have a seat at this table. Majority have no clue what's going on. There is no dialogue. You misled the Homedale residents with this. The charter study is definitely not about Homedale or the residents. People love Homedale. It's one of the most desirable places to live, and our township form of government has preserved this. Questions for the mayor moving forward. One, why is it taking so long for our leaders to utilize the many direct communication channels to be informing and educating Homedale residents? What is transpiring regarding something as epic as changing our local government structure? We've received no correspondence from you, mayor. Two, when recommendations are made, how do you plan to hold meetings and discuss with residents, as the Faulkner Act states, the widest public dialogue possible there? There's been none thus far. What plans do you have to put the Homedale residents first and provide us with all the necessary information Your required up, so that we can make the best decisions for our family Thank you. and for Homedale? Thank you. Okay. So the, 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 the process... Um, was laid out uh, by the legislature. We're following the law in how to potentially allow Homedale residents to directly elect their mayor. I didn't create the process. I'm following it. And I actually wasn't the first person to come up with the idea, but I'm the one who decided to put it forth because after hearing from people that came up meetings over the years that wanted to have the ability to directly elect the mayor. And the process is that the formation of a charter study commission to study it. I don't know what, what exactly their recommendation is going to be when they're finished with the recommendation sometime later this year. But whatever it is, if it's for the directly elected mayor, I'm going to support it. If it's not for a direct elected mayor, I'm not going to support it. So I, I have not made my decision on what I'm supporting because I haven't seen the decision yet. But there's a process put in place by the legislature. If you don't like the process, call your legislator. Tell them to change it. I can't do that. I can only go by what the law says. And the, and the counselor advised me that the only way I can allow the Homedale residents to decide, I can allow the Homedale residents to decide is to follow this process, and they vote on it. They vote on it twice. They vote, one, to allow the ability for a charter study to go into play, 
and two, to vote on what the charter studies recommendation is if they agree with it. Ultimately, th the township committee has no additional insight or input besides what we did already. We have no other involvement in this, except what we're going to hear is what you're going to hear. We're going to hear it when you're going to hear it. And then the residents will decide what they want to do. And there'll be people for it. I'm sure the people against it. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be yet. So I'm not going to speculate. I'm going to wait and see. And I'm going to reserve my decision until I see what the recommendation is. That's simple. Anybody else in the public? Miss. 